Hi, Ben. Good evening to you. Well, starting today, thankfully, they just broke ground on this $925 million project, which will be replacing the walk bridge right here. Now, the state is estimating it'll be done in 2029. Yeah, that's a long time, and unfortunately, commuters will be impacted, but the people involved here say they hope it'll be minimal. These four tracks on the New Haven Metro North Line are some of the busiest in the nation, carrying hundreds of thousands of passengers and trains each day. The tracks span the walk bridge running over the Norwalk River, but there's a problem. The 127-year-old bridge rotates to let boats go by, and many times it gets stuck. This rail line behind us that defines Connecticut is both our greatest strength, but at times one of our greatest liabilities. Back in 2011, the walk bridge failed 12 times out of 138 openings. In 2013, 16 failures out of 271 openings. And the year after, it failed twice in a two-week period. And when that happens... We have to have buses that bring uh, commuters from one a uh, station to another backing up traffic. It's a complete nightmare. Senator Bob Duff says whenever the bridge fails, it costs the region around $150 million per day. The problem caused the state to issue an emergency declaration to replace it nine years ago. Now they finally have the millions of dollars to do it. The walk bridge has been a long walk and a slow walk, mm -hmm. and we can't afford any more delay. The new bridge set to be complete in 2029 will have two independent two track bridges. So if one fails, the other can still come down and carry travelers across. During construction, at least two tracks will be open for commuters at all times. It won't be ideal, that's for sure, but the Department of Transportation says the impact should be minimal. There's a significant amount of work that's involved, but we think, you know, generally speaking, uh, we'll be in good shape. A long overdue project finally kicking off. We're going to take the walk bridge and turn it into a run bridge. And now the work doesn't stop here at the walk bridge. While they're here, they're also going to be working on more than a handful of other bridges in the Northeast Corridor, picking up on all of the years of disrepair that has been happening to those bridges. We're live here in Norwalk tonight. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.